Part two. Well, not really. There's n this is just the ending. <laughs> I got my decaf green tea, a staple in this household. And I just want to discuss what I have learned through this process. Grab your decaf green or tea of your choice and we'll get started. <laughs> about you but my anxiety always stems from factors that are outside of my control kind of taking the focus off of the result because I remember times I'd be practicing and just in my head I would just see the words I want to see which is accepted or first place it's not a bad thing to have that attitude the issue comes in when when you don't get that how do you feel Failure is really on us to determine if we fail or not, and I needed to learn how to be satisfied with preparing to the best of my ability. If I made it to the audition day and really showed my preparation, showed my dedication, but then didn't get accepted, I, I need to recognize, we need to recognize that it's not a personal attack. It doesn't mean that you didn't grow in this time. Failure is only failure if we don't grow at all. Not even playing wise, but like personal development wise. At the end of the day, you just need to be able to really stand with yourself and believe in yourself no matter what kind of outcome it was. It really proved itself to me when I played super well at this audition that I had for one of my schools. I was really proud of myself. Um, it was the first audition I had in a really long time and I was I really didn't know how it was gonna go. I didn't trust myself. I was just like we'll see what happens but I prepared a lot and I thought about it a lot and I did a lot for the mental side of it which isn't something I normally did and that helps. I went in there and I played my ass off. Did I get in? No. But I didn't cry when I didn't get in. Okay, side note. So I'm editing this video and I want to say that it's okay to cry if you feel like you need to cry. But I'm proud of myself for not really feeling the need to and just being like, okay, next thing. And that's that's kind of the, one of the first times in my life that I felt this rejection and was okay with it. At the end of the day, what matters is that you believe in your voice, you believe in your sound, you believe in what you're doing, you're playing convincingly, and you're playing from a place that's here. Heart. <laughs> that's what matters. And if you do all of that and you, you walk out of that audition or out of that recital and you feel that euphoric feeling, I know you know what I'm talking about, where you just played so amazingly and you can't even remember what happened because you were so caught up in it, that's what's worth it. And I really hope that if you feel that way, you won't be concerned about the result because you've already won. You've gotten what you needed to get out of the process. <sighs> I miss performing. <laughs> I wish we could normalize the fact that we face more losses than wins. Of course we all share our wins, celebrate them, that's great, as we should. But too often we don't talk about the losses. And I understand not wanting to broadcast the fact that you lost something, because I didn't want to do that with my audition, with my grad school journey video. Rejection is just really part of our lives as musicians. And also part of our lives as musicians is learning how to cope with that. In the future, I really just want to create without any inhibition and not hold back because of what someone might think of me. I have a lot of thoughts, I have a lot of feelings, I have... There's just a lot in here <laughs> all the time. I've really often felt ashamed of that and not wanting to put that in my flute playing, but I think it's not only a disservice to myself, but it's also a disservice to 
the audience I'm playing for to the music I'm playing. I think just in this world in general, I mean, I know in this world in general, we are all so concerned with what everybody thinks and I totally understand. Like, like I've said, I've totally been there. I don't know what accent that was, it kind of sounded like Shrek. <laughs> just putting others' thoughts to rest, the things we can't control, putting those things down and recognizing I can do all I can do, but at the end of the day, this isn't my decision. You will feel so free. You will feel the permission to do what makes you feel good, do what makes you feel happy. You will hear more from your body. Your body will tell you what to do. You just have to slow down and listen. That kind of brings me to my announcement of where I will be attending. I want to do a drum roll, but I'm clapping. <laughs> I am going to Lynn. Man, it's crazy. That's the one school I didn't apply to. Why am I going there? Well, I'll tell you why. <laughs> when, I, when I slowed down and really listened to myself, I just couldn't see it at any other school. I, I, I can't tell you why. I just had a really strong gut feeling and I went with it. I totally feel this is the right choice for me and I'm super excited, if you can't tell. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna grow a lot, not only as a player, but like as a person. Closing remarks. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Trust your, just trust here in terms of music playing just let yourself create let yourself paint let yourself imagine dream and but also let yourself believe just trust yourself and there's so much noise in the world if you can learn how to quiet it if you can learn how to how to hear what what your body needs you to know that will be life-changing, both on a personal level and a career level, a music level. And I just wish you all the best on your journeys with this. You are amazing and unique and we, we all have such unique different voices and there is value in every single one of them and that's what makes the music world so wonderful.